next video in today's video i will show you how to uh, pick image from your camera roll or from your photos app and display it inside an image view uh, so this is for flutter applications without any third party library so yeah let's get started so first of all i will show you guys a video of this so this is uh, so i have a button when i click on it <coughs> you can pick a photo from your photos app and it will get displayed so yeah let's get started so as usual i have created my home page widget inside that i have refactored my home page widget to include a text button as well as i have created this variable so this variable will store the image url which you will get once you pick a photo from your photos app and here you will get it and i am setting it to our data variable once the data variable is uh, not equal to empty quotes here i am using two approach so this is the flutter way of doing things but unfortunately it is not working i'm not sure why but uh, this is the other approach which works if you know why this is not working uh, do let me know in the comments but here i have created my own custom widget uh, which references a native widget uh, and native image view and there i'm displaying it so yeah let's get started so here i have created a method channel and inside text button i'm calling that method channels pick image method which will give us the image uri <clears throat> once you get the image URI, I am just setting it to a variable. I am displaying it over here. So here you can see this is my my image view uh, uh, stateful widget, and this is for Android and this is for iOS. So uh, this thing I have just tested it on iOS. I am not sure about Android. Okay, so, but this thing works both on Android and iOS because this is our custom implementation, right? <clears throat> and here you can see I am passing the uh, URL to. Uh, the flutter side to the native side sorry so as you will go to android go to build.gradle okay i don't think any changes over here go to app go to build.gradle over here and i think here you will have to add the min sdk version to at least 21 i have crept it as 23 next i have added these two dependencies because we will have to use the result launcher uh, and that's why it requires activity and fragment and here uh, this dependency is for coil because i want to integrate uh, you know um, coil makes it easy to uh, uh, display an image if you have an image uri with you next go to uh, go to src main i don't think anything in android manifest no changes in android manifest go to kotlin main activity dot kt first i have defined our method channel and this is our picker launcher which uh, which is a callback so here you can see first i am registering our image view next this is our method channel and once pick image is called i am uh, calling this uh, method to pick only images which you choose, which you can see over here once the image is picked it gives a callback over here with the image uri which i am sending out to the flutter side <clears throat> now to display our image view first of all you will have to define a factory so as usual stuff uh, next inside my image view I have defined uh, uh, just an image view of uh, native Android and I have created that image view and I'm just using the load method of coil to display the image view using that URI. So that's it for Android. For iOS, go to runner info.plist. First of all, you will have to use NS photo library usage description. Uh, next, inside app delegate.swift. I have added this photos and photos UI, UI as well as also one thing I forgot for Android in main activity you will have to change this to flutter fragment activity okay next again for iOS you will have to extend ph picker view controller delegate as well here I have defined our result as well as controller here I am registering our image view I am initializing our controller this is our method channel and once the pick my image is called first of all I am uh, checking for permission if permission is granted then i'm calling the pick photo method okay so inside pick photo we are just launching ph picker configuration and this is supported from android uh, sorry from ios 14 and above so you will require that minimum target next inside picker here uh, we will get the actual image but it is form of ui image so here uh, for native ios it would have been a lot simpler but we can't as far as i know pass an ui image from uh, native side to flutter side uh, that's why we will have to store it inside a temporary location create an url for it and then send it to a flutter side 
but if you just require an UI image you will get it over here so that's what I'm doing I'm just compressing that image so you can change the compression quality over here and then saving it to temporary directory and then creating an URL and which I'm sending it over here also if you are testing it on simulator do try to test it with multiple images like try choosing different images sometimes I have noticed that for simulator there uh, might come an issue uh, with accessing the temporary directory better to test it with real device that's my suggestion otherwise uh, there uh, sometimes the simulator throws unwanted error which are aren't really errors next for my image view uh, native view factory so this is boilerplate code for displaying of uh, a native view which i have done over here and over here i have just taken a ui view inside that i have created a ui image view and here i am getting that url from uh, the flutter side and i have just set an 200 by 200 width and height but you can change it to whatever you want then i'm converting it to a url and converting it to a ui image and then adding it to our image and that image is added to our sub view so i think yeah that's it thank you for watching bye